I'm Ted Manjone. I've been here at Good Samaritan Hospital going on 35 years. 28 of them as a printer and seven years in the concierge department. Hi, my name is John Frederick. I've been in the hospital for 36 years. Um, started out in the kitchen for 13 and now I'm lead painter of plant engineering department. Hi, my name is Donna Marie Giffen. I've been here 36 years. My job is a medical technologist in the lab. Hi, my name is Joyce Antanasio. I've been here 35 years in the lab outpatient department. Hello, I'm Luann Chalemi. I've been at Good Samaritan Hospital 40 years. I'm a medical technologist and currently work over in pathology. Hi, I'm Millie Sepulveda, the administrative director of the laboratory, and I've been here Longer than they are. <laughs> <laughs> I've been here for 50 years. Yeah. 50 years. Good Sam to me. Mm -hmm. uh, good Sam means a lot. Um, you know, I've have developed friendships through the years. Um, I had my children here. Um, you know, Ill, do illnesses and happy times, sad times. It was a, a family. They talk about the Good Sam family, and uh, it definitely felt as though it was part of my family. I think, Millie, you hit it right on the nose. Uh, family, you know, you leave your home, uh, you leave your family behind to go to work, and uh, long and behold, you go to work, and you build this relationship with the people that you work with. It's, uh, it's beautiful. Good Samaritan is a great place to work. It provides excellent patient care in a safe environment. I feel I could fit in. It's been amazing to work here. Staff are friendly. I was born here. My two children were born here. My two brothers were born here. And I feel like Good Samaritan Hospital is part of my family. What brought me to Good Sam? Being a candy striper here during high school, which I went to right next door. I then went on to college for medical technology. And during the summers, I would work here. And right after college, I was hired, so. This is a family. I grew up here. What brought me to Good Sam was, at the time, my boyfriend lived upstairs from Donna Venturini, who was a phlebotomist here, and she needed help on the weekend. So she brought me to work one day, and they hired me and trained me. <laughs> what brought me to Good Sam was my mom was an employee here for 20 years, and um, she forced, well, basically forced me to get up and get a job and say, get to work. So that's what brought me here and then proceeded to start my career with this organization. I was working in the World Trade Center, but I didn't want to commute anymore, so I said, all right, let me find something out here in Long Island. And uh, looking through the papers, Sunday, every Sunday, and I found a print shop job in Good Samaritan Hospital, and I went for it. Uh, I came home, I remember everybody in the kitchen when I came home and I screamed that I was making $9.15 an hour. 7.35, yeah. It was like, it was like, wow, you know? I was king of the world. What brought me to Good Sam many years ago, um, I was um, getting married on a Sunday. Saturday was my graduation from Farmingdale and I, there were two ads in the paper for EKG technician at Southside and at Good Samaritan. So I filled out the, or sent the resume out, put it in the mail, got married the next day, went on a honeymoon, and when I came back from the honeymoon, there was a letter from Good Samaritan saying to come for an interview. So I came for the interview, I started out as an EKG technician, and then went into a, a laboratory technician position shortly thereafter. I enjoyed biology class. It was fantastic to learn all about the varieties of cells, and work to carry out the basic functions necessary for human to survive. I decided to take an MLT major, and that's what brought me to the hospital. Family members at Good Sam, yeah, I'm blessed to have my son in the plant engineering department. Um, he's uh, very proud of him. He's a, he's a good guy, right? He's a good guy. And uh, 
knowing that the people love him as much as I love him makes it real sweet. Yes, I also have a son working here, um, Joseph. Um, he's an RN in uh, Catholic. Um, very prestigious job, very good job, and um, can't be more proud of him. He's been employed here, I think, 13 years now, and I, a countless amount of people I'm sure he saved lives on. You know, very proud. You know, over the 35 years I've been to weddings, christenings, funerals, you know, birthday parties, retirement, so, yeah, I've known them a long time. We've well, celebrated life together, yeah. all of us. Yeah. Well, it's, it's nice to, to be able to work with people that are just as compassionate as how you feel, and being a team, it, it's, it's almost uh, unimaginable to not have the person next to you think the way you think. They are wonderful. I am very fortunate to work with them. They have patience with me when communicating. Some write notes back and forth with me. Some of them know sign language and finger spelling. They treat me with respect. They become my extended family. I love them. During the pandemic, the community supported us by uh, food, cookies, uh, we had a couple of flyovers, events in the parking lot. There was just so many ways that the children were just so cherished. It just brightens your day. It's a tremendous amount of support. One day when we walked outside, there was a sign on the sidewalk that said, Heroes Work Here. And it was just so touching to think that someone thought of us that way. We all just had to work together. Everything, if it wasn't in your job description, it didn't matter. We had a few people that did get sick, but thank God everybody was okay. So it was tough for a while, but everybody really just, just to talk to people who were going through the same thing as you was, was good. So how I feel the team and hospital supported us during this whole pandemic. We tried to stay connected and be strong. We supported each other. The community sent us beautiful gifts and cards and food to keep us spirits. Thankful for all the doctors, nurses, phlebotomists for putting their lives at risk for the front line for all the COVID patients. My patient from two shifts ago that I took off the breathing machine, he's off the machine still. He is waving to me, smiling. It made my heart really, really, really happy. My coworkers and supervisors have supported and helped my professional development during this time and saw what a great family we were. As the director, I was never as proud of my team as I have been since the COVID pandemic began. And just, you know, trying to do the best job they could. Um, you know, many times it, we had a lot of times where we were very uh, tearful and uh, sometimes from being so happy and sometimes from being so sad. And the, the events of the last few months have really allowed us to work together and, and build our strengths. I don't think we would all be here this long if it wasn't a good team and a friendly place to work. You know, when you wear your badge outside the hospital, uh, it's, it's a powerful symbol, you know, and uh, people, no matter where I went, uh, you know, showed their passion for, uh, for what we did. And they appreciated it, and they showed it. No doubt about it. If someone asked my advice, should I go work at Good Samaritan, I'd wholeheartedly say yes. If I could describe Good Samaritan, I like the word wholesome. I would go with excellent. Family. I think I would also go with family. Excellent. I, I would agree with my fellow laboratorians. I would go with supportive family. Laboratorians. <laughs> Laboratorians. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck.